Hi friends, welcome back. Today I wanted to record a self-care video. I wanted to record a video that kind of talks about what I do, how I pamper myself at home, the things I do to take care of myself, especially on quarantine. Um, I've added a few things to my routine just because I can't go to the nail salon and I can't get my lashes done. I just wanted to kind of go through a few things that I've been enjoying, that I've been doing at home that have kind of helped me, um, that kind of have helped me to kind of stay positive. I feel like when my house is clean and I'm taking care of my life is put together, it's just the way that I've always been. Um, I'm just going to start with what I did today. Today I applied some self tanner. Now it is still developing, so you can't see full, you know, effect just yet. I mean, you can kind of see my my arms are getting tanner, but my sister introduced me to the Tan Lux oil <sighs> okay backstory my sister is obsessed with Nadia what's her name oh my gosh Diana's gonna be so disappointed Nadia Anya I think her name is Diana, Diana I'm so sorry <laughs> let me see what is her name Nadia Anya yes and um, I think she's in London but she was talking about these Tanlex oils I think they have like two shades for the body and then they have uh, oil for the face I think they have like a lotion that they offer but as you can see I have used quite a bit of this stuff and basically all you do is you apply these drops into your moisturizer and you moisturize your skin like you normally would after the shower and this just gradually develops a tan for you and I've been using this for a few weeks now I would say a few months my sister gave me a tip to just mix it in with a lotion that has like a scent something that you enjoy something that smells good I just picked this one up it's sweet pineapple and honey melon it smells so delicious and then when you apply these it kind of masks the um, the tanner scent even though this self tanner does not is not stinky so tomorrow when I rinse all of this off completely I will have absolutely no scent I don't have a self tanning scent from this so it's just it's great honestly I love it but this gives me such a nice tan the beautiful thing about this is that you can customize how dark you want to be or how light you want to do be I have just been doing one pump to two drop ratio so one pump and two drops every time I go in so an example I'll do one pump two drops and I'll start at the foot and I'll bring it up to like my knee and then again one pump two drops and I'll bring it up higher so basically I that's just my ratio you would moisturize your skin how you normally would moisturize your skin you know you would use like a pump and you would you know however you would normally moisturize your skin so when you feel like you need more I'll just do another pump two drops so simple so easy it has given me the be most beautiful tan I remember the first time I did it um, my tan was pretty flawless except for my wrist area I was washing my hands out and a little bit of water kind of ran down my arm and I didn't even notice it I only noticed it a few hours when it developed everything was flawless but I had like one drip of water one like little strip of water going down I I don't know so basically my tan developed beautifully except for this one line that kind of went across so I realized you just have to be super careful when you're washing this tan off um, but otherwise I've had no issues since since then I've used this countless amount of times I use it like once a week um, and it helps me just to keep my tan pretty natural I'm so pasty I'm so white right now but this tanner just keeps me just very natural if you want it to be super tan like my sister loves to be tan I'm sure her little concoction is you know more drops per whatever like I know for a fact my sister puts more of the, t the drops on and she looks so beautiful so golden and her tan is always consistent you know so anyway I've been really enjoying that having like a tanned skin especially when I'm recording especially um, with, if I'm on camera and on Instagram just like a little bit of a tan so yeah I've really been enjoying that and it's been helping me feel normal normal as normal as we will get on the quarantine but these are just I guess that's the thing these things help me feel normal like life is not so quarantined you know but anyway I've never tried this lotion this would be my first time purchasing it and I absolutely love it 
I love anything on a pump because there's more control when it's on a pump. So I know once I'm done with this, I will probably pick up the same company, maybe different scents just to, you know, switch things up a little bit. Another thing I've been loving is my exfoliating sponge. I know this sounds silly, but I have been obsessed with this exfoliating sponge. I actually use it every single time I'm in the shower. I don't use those loofahs anymore. I just completely switched over to this. This is especially great if you're going to be using a self tanner like I did this morning. But I don't know. I love the way it lathers. I love the way um, I just feel so exfoliated every single time. I no longer have dry skin. I just really don't because I just exfoliate every single time I'm in the shower. Now I understand that everybody needs to exfoliate every time they're in the shower, but for me personally, this is just wonderful. Another thing I use right before the self tanner is this Eco Tools body, I guess, I guess it's like a brush. Um, also really helps with exfoliating. Before you tan, you really do want to exfoliate your elbows, your knees, your ankles, any drier, rougher areas on your body. So this has been great. I love it. It's very comfortable. I love the idea of you slipping your hand into these things. I don't know. I know it's so silly, but I have been really enjoying these things. <laughs> also, what I've been loving is just using my purple shampoo. As you can see, my, my hair is very icy today because I used it this morning. This just helps me um, in between toning sessions. So at this point I would need a toning session at the salon, but obviously salons are all closed. So I've been using my purple shampoo just to get rid of any of that brassiness. Um, so yeah, I've been loving this. I've been using this for consistently for a while, for a few months. This is just the Redken Con Color Extend Blondage Shampoo. I use it about once a week and it's been great. It takes any of the yellow color away and just kind of keeps me ice icy and kind of keeps me keeps me like a little bit more platinum just kind of the way I like it another thing I've been loving and I've been loving this for a while oh my goodness it smells incredible it's this Wella hair mask my cousin bought this for me for my birthday she is so good with her hair products any hair needs anything like she always hooks me up and i've just been loving this stuff it just leaves my hair super silky after doing that i also use my oils my friend marina got me this for my birthday as well my girlfriend's completely hooked, hooked me up this year um so it's a silken and gloss i actually blow dry my hair i use my heat protect and i blow dry my hair and then i apply this to the tips it's amazing it also smells just so good. I actually use this this morning as well. So that's been just a few of my hair care products and my tanning stuff that I've been using. Another thing I wanted to mention are these little razors for your face. These are so good. I have been using these for years. I have been using these for, I don't know, maybe seven years, maybe more. Um, so it really gets off any peach fuzz. I mainly use it to exfoliate around my mouth. I get pretty dry so I just kind of exfoliate any dry skin with this I always use this in between my brows after I pluck my brows and like use my tweezer I go in after that and just kind of clean up and, and stop you know where my brow stops so it really helps clean up any of the little baby hairs that I maybe missed or little baby hairs that are kind of invisible but they're still there it kind of gives the skin around your brows more of a flawless finish same thing around this area i just i just love it i mainly use it to get rid of the peach fuss and exfoliate my skin it's so good with exfoliating and then my makeup applies like flawlessly after i use this so i've been loving this another thing i've been using kind of religiously since we've been quarantined is this grande lash md lash serum i've been using it more now because obviously i'm not getting extensions and I kind of wanted my lashes to grow in quicker because I know I will be losing extensions. So this is just a serum that really helps to um, strengthen your lashes. And I honestly have to say, I feel like if they've been working, first of all, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in. First of all, you can see that my lashes are still intact. Can you believe it? It's been like five, six weeks since I've had a fill. Um, and my lashes are just not falling out. I don't know if it's this or it's my lash girl or maybe it's both. But I still have so many lash extensions and I'm shocked. But 
I wanted to move and kind of show you, look how long my bottom lashes are. My bottom lashes are almost as long as my top lashes and I will give it, you know, credit to this grande lash thing because my lashes have always been kind of long but never this long on the bottom. So they're so full and the only thing I've been doing is this serum. So I feel like I finally have seen the, the results of this because I've been using it consistently every single night. I apply it and it's just been great. I love it and I'm, gonna, I'm going to continue to use it throughout the year. It's just wonderful. Another thing I wanted to mention are my favorite lash um, strip lashes. This is the Ardell 110 style. I have used these for years, way before I've gotten lash extensions. Uh, but I just wanted to mention these because if I wasn't getting extensions and if my lashes had fallen out by now, I would be using this, especially when I'm on camera, on pictures or anything. It's just the 110 um, style. They are fairly natural. And what I do is I cut these up into like five pieces, six pieces. I just kind of snip, snip, snip and apply. I don't put on a full strip because a full strip tends to kind of not lie beautifully on your lid somewhere it starts to rise like the corners start to pick up the glue starts to unglue but if when you chop them up they are doing their own thing individually and they don't unglue they don't I don't know they work so much better if you chop them up as opposed to just putting a full strip on that's just been my experience with them but yeah I just wanted to mention these because if my lashes had fallen out by now which I thought they would um, I would be using these just kind of, I know, at home lash kind of thing if you needed a little pick-me-up. So yeah. Another thing I've been using like crazy are my masks. I am all out of masks. This is the latest one I use. It's by Pixie. It's the Glow Mask. I absolutely love, love, love this mask. I've tried so many Pixie masks. They're all wonderful. I don't know what it is about them. I don't know what they have in them. I should probably do some research, but they work so well. Every time I get into a bath, like once or twice a week, I will put on a mask, like a sheet mask. Best thing in the world, love it. So not only have I been using masks for my face, I've been using masks for my feet. This is such a good foot mask. It's just part of pampering. I know it's weird, a foot mask, but I absolutely love it. I love putting on a foot mask. I love putting on lotion afterwards. I do this like once every two months and it's amazing. If you haven't tried a foot mask, you are missing out. So that's another thing I love to do. I also love Patchology. Um, these are eye gels. I've used several, uh, several of these. They are phenomenal. Another thing that I'm obsessed with, can't get over, have been using for a while, are these pixie um, eye masks. They're jelly consistency. They are wonderful, amazing, incredible, outstanding. <laughs> no, but I honestly, I love these. It's just so rela relaxing to plop these on after a sheet mask. When I'm in a bath, I'm crazy. I have, I'm covered in masks. It's, it's amazing. I'm actually gonna throw this out because I touched it, but Honestly, when I, when I take a bath, I take full advantage. I put the kids down, I put on my sheet mask, I put on my hair mask, I'll put on all the masks, I'll put my eye patches on. I have lip masks. I am such a mask girl. I love masks. Like, give me all the masks. I just love the feeling. I love, I don't know, it's, it's ultimate relaxation for me to put on a mask. It's ultimate relaxation. I feel like I'm doing the best for my skin. So that's been fun. Uh, just, you know, a little thing that I do when I pamper myself. Another thing I want to talk about are my nails. My nails are little nuggets right now. I had to trim them because I'm obviously not going to the nail salon. But it's actually been very easy to manage shorter, much, much easier to manage shorter nails. But I've been doing my nails at home by myself. I just use my Sensation Nail LED lamp. I bought this lamp a few years ago. I used to do my own gel nails at home. Um, and I was going to get rid of it a few months ago, but I'm so glad I didn't because I've been using this every two weeks at home. I've kind of gotten into the habit of just kind of doing my own nails at home. And um, I bought myself this Wildflowers base at 
an online store i guess i think it was their actual website but my nail salon uses this and it just hardens your nail so the first coat you apply this base it's like a foundation base it hardens your nail giving it i don't know extra support so it, so i would do that first it kind of thickens it a little bit but if you put very thin layers on it just works beautifully and then i would just apply whatever opi gel polish i have i have two colors that i purchased the funny bunny and the bubble bath right now i have the bubble bath on it's like just this bubble gum pink it's a beautiful beautiful color and then i go on with a top coat by cnd shellac top coat it's wonderful it's great my little puny guy over here is able to cure everything and just give me salon nails at home obviously they are not as amazing as my nail tech's nails my nail tech Amelia is like incredible I really really miss her like crazy and I never want to do this again I want to go back to the nail salon I want to go back to my girl she does she takes such good care of my nails but this is pretty much the stuff that they use at the salon um so yeah I've been able to attain that at home it's wonderful it's great if I have any chip or anything I can just literally fix that one nail instead of going in and doing them all so it's been great i've been loving the the fact that i can be doing my nails at home another thing i've been using is this drill this manicure drill it's extremely inexpensive it's nothing super professional but it works it works it gets my like i guess the top coat of my gel off it comes with like several different heads here comes with several different heads um and it comes with these little things i don't know what they're called but it's been wonderful i i've been enjoying it it, ha it has really sped up my manicure process at home the first time i did my manicure it took me three hours to do to take everything off and to reapply and i'm like i cannot do this absolutely not happening i can't keep doing this at home that's too much time and then my sister mentioned that she bought one for herself and she loved it so i went on and i purchased one i think it was like 25 dollars, and it has really cut my time in half I, I felt like most of the time was occupied taking my polish off and not ripping my natural nail off so just trying to be careful and using a file i literally went in with like a file trying to file everything down and not damage my natural nail but this literally is like you turn the machine on and you're like zzz, every every nail individually and so quick sorry for the sound effects <laughs> what is wrong with me today another thing i've been using not as often as i should be is my glow pro but more than anything you guys i have been enjoying the lip head this is for the lip with the lip serum it's seriously amazing i feel like this machine is worth it for the lips themselves it kind of plumps the lip and when you apply this it really plumps the lip if you don't want to buy the whole thing and you want to just buy this it's i would be very proud of you this is probably one of my favorite lip serums ever this tip is like a cooling tip because it's metal it cools the lip so it feels so good after you use the the glow pro on the lip and then you apply this it's amazing it really does such a good job with plumping the lip i am going to try to mention everything i talked about down below um i hope that some of this stuff may help you in your at home pampering session like i said these are just little things that i do they help me feel good they help me feel normal um, I've really been enjoying the stuff I've been doing at home, the little tricks and tips that I've picked up along the way. And yeah, I just felt like I wanted to share them with you guys. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you have any video ideas, anything you want me to record for you, I would be more than happy to do so. I know a few people asked me to over this week actually asked me to do more cleaning videos clean with me video i guess they really really motivate people and everybody's singing, sitting at home so we'll see maybe I, I will do that um one of these days thank you so much for hanging out thank you so much for supporting my channel thank you so much for watching my videos 
I appreciate all your likes, your comments, everything, any interaction, you guys. Thank you so much. I absolutely love your DMs that you guys send me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.